At a hearing today in D.C., Baylor's president discussed the need for federal legislation now to get involved with NIL rules. 25 News reporter Caleb Chevalier has details. Compensation for name, image, and likeness remains a hot-button issue in the world of college athletics. Concerns about student-athlete well-being have taken the conversation to Washington. Earlier this summer, the NCAA made the landmark decision to reverse their stance on student-athletes receiving compensation from third parties, a decision that some say is a breath of fresh air. What is America? It's the land of opportunity. And I guess it's a way they can diversify their like, brand and really just achieve. The ripple effects of the decision left universities wondering how NIL rules would be regulated. That's where today's U.S. House subcommittee hearing comes in. At the hearing, Dr. Livingstone stated that the current system of states enacting their own NIL laws is not satisfactory. The current patchwork system of 30 plus state laws is very confusing for institutions and students and is not transparent. In her testimony, Dr. Livingstone stressed that NIL laws should treat students as growing individuals rather than employees of a system. Baylor student Olivia Texador agrees that colleges should make professional development a priority. It might would be much more beneficial for them to have more scholarship fundings or opportunities for um, different like internships or things like that that could help them grow and be more mature. Advocates for national NIL laws like Dr. Livingstone say that the legislation should include a method of giving financial guidance to those earning compensation. The burden of suddenly managing large amounts of money may be overwhelming for some students. It's really critical because this is putting another level of pressure on our student athletes that many of them are not prepared for. Some of the Baylor students had similar feelings about their ability to be responsible with money. I don't even have like that much money and I don't know how to spend it, you know what I'm saying? So I don't think people would be responsible with that much money anyway. Thursday morning's hearing was the first time the topic had been discussed within the U.S. House. Five hearings have occurred in the Senate, but those efforts were eventually dismissed. The impassioned testimonies given by witnesses at today's hearing may bring college athletics one step closer to NIL regulations at the federal level. In Waco, Caleb Chevalier, 25 News.